Hello, and this is a video that I don't want to make, but I have to make this video. I have to mention what happened today, since this is the first time that this is, has ever happened to me. I have made many videos about uh, issues I have, according to uh, getting a apartment from central Finland and the reason usually uh, like 99% of the time the issue is that I have a what is that word? you know the words that they use in business they are the words that escape my mind most of the time. Guess I'm just not built for business. I, I'm built for like... Creativity. Something like that. For YouTube, maybe. So... So my gripe with landlords uh, in regards of me being a renting their house is that I have uh, lost my credibility since I have uh, been forced to move a lot of times not by a landlord well once by a landlord, twice by a landlord, but uh, the first that was my fault, I was 18 years old, I was a total newbie on the scene of uh, living alone, and I was unemployed, and my school dropped out, so a couple of um, unpaid uh, rental bills that uh, was from the government the government owned the houses but they wouldn't forgive me and I wouldn't get the chance to pay I would have liked to stay in my first apartment but no and the worst part of that was that uh, uh, a friend of mine at that time told me, since I was so upset that I need to leave the house, he said uh, if you don't leave the house, you can spend a month in there before they come with the police. Yes, that's what he said and that's what I believed. He was my friend. After all, why would he lie to me? He must know for sure that uh, that they won't get like police instantly uh, to get me out of the house. So when the uh, government um, landlords, they are government landlords. I don't know if they have some kind of different title, since they are not like private sector landlord. Hmm government landlords. Two of them, men and a woman, came to my house at the morning. Uh, they knocked and said, uh, you need to leave now. And I did what my, uh, at that time, current friend said. I said, I won't leave. <laughs> uh, and I said that uh, you have to um, get the police to get me out. And they said, okay, we will get the police. And they got the police like in a five minutes there. And the police was so nice that they wouldn't let me gather my stuff. They said, take clothes. Like not no computer, not anything, not anything of value. Take clothes and leave. They have like tasers and guns and batons. What am I gonna do? 
beat the police. <laughs> uh, and stay in the house. No. I called my parents and told them what had happened. And I collected some... Some clothes. Uh, but mostly I took only my computer. My only valuable possession. That was when I... That was my fault that I lost the house, really. That was my fault. Uh, I was young and I, I didn't know how the social welfare system works. I for, just forgot to bring the... Only thing that I would have needed to do is bring the bills to the government building. But uh, because I didn't bring the bills, they like saw that I am not paying the bills. Even if it was a case of government isn't paying for itself and they are blaming me for not paying. It's just a stupid cycle. So stupid cycle. And they take it so seriously that they call the police to get me out of the house. I lost a lot of furniture, clothes, personal items, everything else but a computer and a little sack of clothes. Even like a picture of myself as uh, uh, when I was younger and went to a like costume party, I was dressed up as Sandokan. Sandokan, the tiger of Malaysia. It was a um, pirate story based on, uh, is it Emilio Sangrini? I don't know how to pronounce his name, but uh, his story, uh, it tells the story of Sandokan, who is the rightful Maharaja of uh, Malaysia, and uh, there is this evil westerner called Brook, who takes the throne of Maharaja by killing Sandokan's parents and Sandokan swore's revenge and he will uh, prom like make a promise to himself that he will gain the throne of Maharaja of Malaysia for himself as he is the rightful ruler. That's almost like in One Piece by Mr. Ejiro Oda where Monkey D. Luffy wants to become Pirate King but the major difference is that Sandokan really wants to be a Maharasa since he thinks it's his birthright to be a ruler and Luffy, yeah, throw at Monkey D. Luffy doesn't want to rule anyone, he just wants to be the freest guy in the ocean. Okay, that was my fault, but uh, now I will end that started a cycle where I uh, I didn't care anymore uh, about, you know, care anymore about the government funds that they have. So I used the, the kind of make this paper of guarantee that if I leave uh, rents and pay, then they will give money. It's just the paper until I leave the rents paid, unpaid, then it turns to money. So, I have left many times, four or five or more times, the, rent, the final rent unpaid. I have always paid my rents. No um, landlord has ever suffered monetary loss because of me, but Finnish government has had a lot of 
monetary loss because of me and I have no regrets about that. Even if I'm marked as a like, really untrustworthy person who doesn't pay his rent, that's just me making the government pay the rent. Uh, I deserve it, I deserve it. And the government deserves, uh, since it's uh, just a puppet government for the world government, it deserves uh, to lose all the money it has. They aren't doing anything wise with it. Finland has its own space program, and I've thought about that, that it's just like human ego, just like the the main thing they are wishing is to uh, that they want to feel the moon under their feet. Oh, what a feeling that would be! First Finnish person on the moon. So stupid. When Finland builds a rocket, I bet it's it's gonna it's gonna be a dot. Or it's gonna, it's gonna just fly like plots and crash down to Helsinki. But uh, don't worry, don't worry, no one will get hurt because Satan lives in Helsinki and he doesn't want his home to be ruined. Yeah, let's get to the topic. So. I understand. I I really understand. My father is uh, partially a landlord. He is also a, like logic uh, major in logistics in university, and well he said and it's true when there are like people who have uh, clean slates unlike me who has a slate so full of dirt that no one wants to touch it even with a stick uh, it's all up to my charisma and my wits um, uh, to get the apartment if I can get a person to trust me, I will gain the apartment, otherwise it's impossible. And this is what I've been used to. But why I'm making a video, I have talked about this many times, I'm still in Lapland, trapped in here, and I want to get back to the central Finland since I'm for no reason in here. I want to get back to my family, my mother and father, and my three younger siblings and their children, and my 94 years old grandma too. I want to be part of their lives and help them since I am in rehab, re rehab retirement, so I don't have any job, I don't need to get the job, I do YouTube and that's fine by the doctors for rehab, I'm not in drug rehab, I'm never been a junkie or anything like that, so don't misunderstand me. So, uh, I th I'm, I've been thinking lately that uh, since I haven't been able to get apartment that has two rooms that I I will start to get a one room apartment and I wouldn't believe it but uh, in a one room apartment I found the most bizarre uh, landlord he is very, very, very afraid about his name being uh, uncovered, like he threatened me with like police without saying police, he was like, 
You know what will happen if you use my name. I said that your name is not worth mentioning. So, I thought that, uh, well, people hate it when there is someone who's not working. People hate rich people. Uh, Finnish people, like uh, also me including, we hate the foreigners who come here to live on welfare. They really do, do it. They they get massive amounts, massive amounts of like money at the start when they come here, so that they would feel uh, like home. Like it's like welcoming gift. Yeah, yeah, there, take money, 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 money. They are, they have the nicest cars and best clothing, fine phones, even some kind of motorized roller. I don't know what it's called, even. It's not skate since it has that wheel that you can turn if you can imagine the skateboard with the turning wheel I'm not the car turning wheel but well I don't know what that thing is in English and they got motorized bikes and uh, everything like where they can spend money, they spend it. That's part of a welfare program in Finland. If you don't spend the money you get, Finnish government starts to think you have funds and they won't pay you anymore as much as before. So that explains why the foreigners and my, myself included, uh, since I live on welfare, I need to use the money every month, every penny. But uh, as I'm in rehab retirement, it's from 2000 euros, I cannot even uh, then. I cannot save any more money then the, uh, the income starts to lower. And now I will get to the point. I have told you my problem, why, why I am having problem getting an apartment. I have told you why, why I have done this. Uh, I have told you that I have not caused any monetary loss to any landlord, but um, it's just my word that they have to take, and usually that it is, it is not enough. I need to find the desperate landlord. I'm the desperate, like, resident, looking for residence. But I have not yet found a desperate enough landlord to take me, but I have found the most annoying landlord up to date. And as I said, his name is sacred to him. It's not worth mentioning. And why am I talking even about this one particular landlord? So I thought that uh, with the new uh, um, when I don't even anymore, I don't try to get the two uh, rooms apartments. I'm trying to get the one room apartments. I thought that uh, when that people hate like freeloaders. So uh, saying that I do YouTube, and I have done this for a year now, um, saying that I do YouTube for the rehab part of my rehab rehabilitation, it, it would ser serve me well, since uh, at least I would do something. 
something with my life and this is my life's work um, my both grandmothers without knowing each other thought that I would become a priest and this is a Christian channel truly this is a Christian channel Jesus is the Lord and he is real he is Christian God Jesus there is not only God there is Christian God Jesus Father God is there Holy Spirit he is there it's all true hallelujah but um, some people might disagree with my views I have a lot of views well I don't have views as like viewerships really much but I'm not so much bothered by it since my income is not tied to my YouTube channel. I'm doing this because I want to do this and because I want to stay in the rehab rehabilitation. Rehab rehabilitation. That was no, no, no. Rehabilitation retirement program. I want to stay in that and I have the shade because of the astaxanthin caused unknown eye disease. So I want to work on a computer since well I have been from 18 years old since I was an occultist at that time cast three spells still claiming it and after that I have been unemployed I tried couple uh, Christian uh, like rehabilitation centers one was day center one was uh, cafe and one was a flea shop but I have run out of Christian places to rehabilitate and well at the first place the day center even the female um, female leader they are said that, that I I am not going to gain anything from rehabilitation that I'm completely fine I can do work I tried work for a while it was so horrible oh I did like it I went as a cleaner to various places to clean they fired me uh, because I didn't like clean like good enough and it's I I don't understand it I did it as I was told I was shown how to clean the place I was cleaning and I did as I was instructed, but it seems I have something missed there. And it was my first time alone cleaning, so... No mercy. So... Now I'm just doing this YouTube videos. And... Now we will get to the point. Now, finally, we will get to the point. So the landlord, whose name is not a word to mention, he um, was like really egoistic. He was 
saying to my since I was like advertising my YouTube channel of course but I was also trying to make the point that uh, well if I'm on welfare even if it's um, rehab retirement welfare it's still not working I wanted to say that I'm doing something something with my life so the, he started to build up his ego by going that uh, oh I know a lot of uh, computer programs and Twitter is a little bit unknown to me and uh, yada 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 yada. I was just talking about uh, how I advertise my channel. I use Twitter. I got so annoyed today that I made a new deviant art like profile. Uh, it was you cannot change your deviant art profile name. I would have kept the old one, but uh, it's it's with the old name. No use to me then. So the guy just says that uh, I watched your YouTube videos and I see that we are so different persons that this like this is not about friendship. If someone said I watch your videos we are so different that I don't want to be friends with you. Then I would be like, all right, that's your opinion. I understand. It's you're entitled to your own opinion. But this guy, what he said was, I have seen a couple of your videos and I know that this rental agreement isn't going to work between us. So if I am making videos to YouTube, that means I cannot live in a house. That's what he said in plain English. Well, he talks Finnish, but remember, not every Finnish is like World War II hero. There are cowards, real cowards among us. Like World War II, the, the Finns had such a passion for Christianity and none of them wanted to die. Even Japanese newspapers noted that there is a fundamental difference between a Finnish soldier and a Japanese soldier at the time of World War II. For Japanese soldier, only way to gain honor on the battlefield is by dying on the battlefield. And the honor goes to the family of the died one. That is the only way. You can kill like 20, 20 persons as a Japanese soldier, but they are expecting you to do that. You are a Japanese. You are ascended from the samurais. You are a warrior race uh, of people. Uh, of Asian people, you it's just in their nature. Of course, you're going to kill 20 people, you're Japanese. But if you die, oh, that was a hero, he, he gave his all. 
They, they don't even mention that he he killed 20 guys, but they mention that, oh, he died so heroically. And this guy, this is Japanese guy who was talking about this fundamental difference between the Finnish mentals, the mindset. Finnish mindset is, don't die. By no means, don't die. You're not going to do the kamikaze. You're, you're even running if you, if you need to. You stay alive. Any means necessary. You don't abandon your uh, friends or your teammates. Not like that. You're not a coward. But you will retreat. Even if there is no retreat order um, and you retreat and you will tell that uh, our position was overwhelmed by the enemy as was every position overwhelmed by the Russian troops in World War II. The commanding officer says good that you are alive. You won't get sanctioned in any way. It was like Germans, Russians, they had the no retreat policy. If you were caught retreating, there was a high chance your own army mates would kill you. Or higher ups. I don't know about like army ranks, but higher rank than you will order your death, you will be court martialed on the field and you will get the death sentence. That was common in World War II. Finland didn't have men to spare so that we could make a propaganda move that uh, makes people like push on even if they're going to die since they know they're going to die anyways if they retreat um, Russians had Janissaries and one of the Finland's tactics in World War II was kill the Janissary the one with the pistol uh, just watching the troops going into battle. If you kill a Janissary, the whole squad of Russian troops would leave. Because they don't want to fight, they don't want to die. But if they don't, they will die by their own countrymen. I bet Japanese had the same kind of thing and, well, Germans had the same kind of thing. Japanese are the ultimate warrior race of people. You're a disgrace. You must now die. Do a seppuku. Uh, and uh, like the Germans, even if they have migrated from Scandinavia, they think they are Aryans at that point of time and you are a master race you are a German we fell Rome and blah blah you can't uh, escape from the battle because it will demoralize our troops it will ruin the propaganda of superhuman Finland cannot afford that we just tried to stay alive and according to my grandparents, my mother's side, grandfather's uh, brother who wrote the journal, he also wrote to a magazine, he said that um, due to being in Christian faith and thanks to Christian God, they survived the war. Both of them.
both of the brothers survived the war. That's the grandfather paradox. I'm here because Christian God wanted so. Uh, at least according to the World War II veteran of my mother's side grandfather's brother. I never met my mother's side grandfather. He died of cancer. There were reports that said, uh, well, for sure he lost like a pinky finger, like like this. Oh, can I even use my hands? Well, like this. Half of his pinky was shot off and the bullet ended up in his PK rifle. That's fast firing rifle that you shoot from a prone position. It has extremely large mag. It's uh, like uh, like infinite shooting rifle, and that rifle saved me and my grandfather. But there was also a report that he had grenade shrapnels to his leg. My mother says that he that's not true. He never talked about it. We don't know for certain, but we know for certain that grenade shrapnels cause cancer. We don't know if my grandfather died because of those grenade shrapnels in the end. I would have liked to meet him. So, when you're picturing like Finnish people, you're picturing those those guys from the World War II. But then there are these kind of Finnish people as this landlord whose name is not worth, worth to mention. He is saying that my YouTube videos... YouTube videos... If I say hello... Hello, hello, see, I'm on a video, I'm on a video, this is me, Shade saved Jans on a video, I even have eyes, I can use them, I can use them, but they, my right eye will get sore to light and concentration, so this will turn to torture for me, so That's why I'm called Sage. Sage Ape D. Yanzu. Stolen from One Piece by Mr. Raid Zero Oda and On Piece Crew. Straw Hat Monkey D. Luffy. I would take like a. Well, like. I would like even wear like a straw hat. Let's. let's put on a little bit of light and take a straw hat. I would even wear a straw hat. But uh, this this won't this isn't good for my health since if you can believe I get headaches for wearing that hat. I would get headaches for wearing multiple kinds of hats and in the process of finding a hat uh, well I have used in the winter um, like fur fur caps for many years I'm so tired of fur caps I bought air, air muffs I need to grow a little bit more hair so that I won't uh, freeze my brain on the winter and I will I will my plan is to grow uh, like standing rastas and make them white so I will be stealing monkey deal of his care 5 too I've said it many times in comments that uh, 
Bartholomeo the cannibal One Piece character who is a One Piece fan, the character in the series. <laughs> so I said that that character of Bartholomeo is nothing uh, uh, compared to me. I even want to take a tattoo of like an X shaped mark here, but I think I I don't usually want to take like tattoo that is completely uh, ripped from a movie like this one is from Mel Gibson's Apocalypto but I have s s left the center open this should be a turtle cell I think it's a sun this is from Star Wars and this is like the criminal organization, the Black Sun, so I, there is this, there should be like a um, black circle in, a, in this spot here, but there is a triangle, so I, I change them a little bit. While we are at it. Uh, here is the third sun. This is pretty basic, but if you can see, that's not like the gray area is not shadowing its scar tissue. I left the chunky man who said that he was about to quit using drugs to make a tattoo on my arm said I'm going to become a tattooist I won't do any more drugs I said okay here's my arm do a tattoo I want a free tattoo oh my god that was horrible he didn't know any at all how to make a tattoo <laughs> it hurt like Mm, I'm I'm really getting off the topic, but my my the half of my body was full with pimples after that tattoo. It was really dirty and really really. It's no wonder that the tattoo turned this way. It was first like the there was like canyon. A round canyon where the gray area is. So I was. The, the meat on my arm was like melting away and it was pretty gruesome. I have been through a lot. But I have never been through a guy who says that. I have seen couple of your videos. You are incompatible, incompatible with my house, with my thought processes. I know I'm a little bit of an edge lord, but still, that doesn't mean I cannot like behave and live in a house i uh, just asked him that um since he was clothing about how good he is using computer programs i asked him so okay that uh, i don't think that uh, making youtube videos is a valid reason for denying me this uh, apartment and then i asked that uh, well this is a cry for help and a question at the same time so what is so wrong with my videos so that i cannot live in a one room apartment and he said that he won't answer he won't answer 
So I said to him that, uh, so you're like thinking I'm so subhuman compared to you that you don't have to answer to me. And I waited, nothing, no, he didn't respond. So I said to him that maybe you are good with computer programs, but you are not creative since you cannot tell me why my videos are so bad in your eyes that I cannot get apartment. Why cannot you like? Talk to me, tell me what's wrong. He just put like crying, laughing emoji. I was pissed before to him. I was pissed. I wanted to say a lot of things to him. I wanted to make a video instantly, but I didn't do it. I was thinking, restrain yourself, restrain yourself, Yansu. My mother came up with the Yansu nickname. It's almost my name. My name is Janne. It's only a man's name in Finland. If you go to Sweden, Janne is a woman's name. You can call me Jane. I won't mind. But I really do mind this one landlord because he put that annoying, annoying, annoying emoji to my, like, when I poured my heart out to him. What is wrong? What is wrong with my videos? I instantly wrote him, okay, you're, since you're kicking uh, the person who is already kicked on the ground, I'm going to do a video about you. And he was instantly, no more laughing emojis. He was uh, threatening that you know what will happen if you use my name. Of course I know, I, I checked if I can even use his name. I can't. And I don't even want to. And then he was like lying through his teeth that uh, I was like, how he said, I know how he say it, but in English, I was respectful to you the whole time, and I just, oh, I remember he said that he doesn't want to answer, and I was like, good, I don't want to answer, good summer, and then I, like, if you don't have, like, you might be good at computers, but you don't have imagination if you don't can't you don't and you can't tell me in words what is wrong with my videos. So he was like, I will, I have been respectful the whole time and blah 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 something I don't remember it was so so boring text that he wrote it was just it was just as he would write a letter to the police in advance uh, if I say his name so that he can make a police case against me that kind of talk was coming out of his mouth he was, he was lying to me. At first he was laughing at me. Then when I say I will make it public. He was then lying to me. What a coward.
Not every Finnish is like hero that used thing that has fought through the snow and the wind uh, and like in the World War Two. Not every Finnish person is brave like me. I can do anything. I can. I have God on my side. This is where I get my strength. This is where I get my bravery. I will, I, even if I'm afraid, I cannot let the Christian God down. I won't diminish God's power by my behavior. And I won't lie. I told like like things are. This guy doesn't even mention that you don't pay your rents like every other landlord. And he is just because your YouTube videos are different than my opinions. That's why you don't get my apartment. Can you believe it? For a year I have made videos. One year of videos. And that is enough of a reason to deny me a house. Well, I'm not sad about this. The house was not so good. It was really small, one room house, really old. And when I know that this landlord is such a coward, that he is just... He, he's, he can't even say what is wrong with my videos. If he had said that you are annoying, your videos are annoying, you are ugly, I don't like your looks, you are crazy, your videos are crazy, I would be okay, I understand. But he just says, because we are too different, this won't work. How am I different than you if you don't tell me why, how am I different than you? Well, everyone is different, but this guy is a proper NPC. Like NPC landlord wanting an NPC residence resident on his house. That's the end of that story. I wouldn't have believed I would talk about an hour about this guy. But I'm a motor mouth and it keeps coming. It keeps coming. And I'm extremely annoyed by this guy. I know he will watch like... What will he say about me? <laughs> That's a D answer. These are the shades. So, he can try to take a hour long video to the police, where I tell that his name is not worth mentioning, and he is a coward for not saying what is wrong with my videos, and just claiming that he has the right to remain silent. <laughs> Maybe he has seen a little bit too much American movies and is acting like a lawyer in a case. 
that he's already planning his mind. Oh, I'm going to make such a big law case against this YouTuber who I denied of a house and I will get money. Money! That kind of guy this landlord is. Worst of all, he is right. I wouldn't have gotten, gotten along with that kind of guy. No way. No way. I hope I can get even a single room apartment. That's the point of this video. The point of this video is not the the guy whose name is not worth mention. The point of this is that I'm upping my game trying to find a apartment from central Finland. I want a one room apartment. I have been trying to get two rooms so that I could even move a little bit the house but that's not gonna happen when I have so much of those markings of unpaid unpaid rentals uh, rents sorry since they are paid but they are paid by government uh, it's been an hour, I have talked about everything about this annoying guy. I know he doesn't have patience to listen to me trashing him for an hour, so he will be disappointed that, oh no, I just wanted to hear like five minutes of him trash talking me and then I wanted to take that video to police and then I wanted to make a, 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 a lawsuit against a against him and then I wanted to get the m m m m m money that kind of person Oh. Well, Christian God will. I don't need to like have a revenge. Christian God has a revenge. But, um. I just wanted to tell you what kind of person some things are. Don't be fooled by the. Heroic, honorful Finn. This was cowardly, lying Finn. And I get a third uh, negative personality trait. He was clothing, clothing for me since I didn't get apartment. Putting a laughing emoji that cries, so like laughs so hard that he cries. So, cause I didn't get his apartment. I think his apartment is filled with rats, and it is falling apart. The Christian God isn't going to bless that house, but well, the Bible says bless your enemies but I say that Bible is modified by Satan and you cannot tell which is right and which is wrong so I hope that Christian God makes whatever is needed to happen in his apartment so that he will be probably punished for insulting a children of light whose resting place is in the hands of Father God. So blessings to everyone who wanted to watch this till the end and goodbye.